going to show you how to wire and how how to how how these work and how to wire them. Let me show you how to wire hardwired interconnected smoke alarms. Now there's a couple videos on how to replace these, but there's not that many videos on how how they're installed and when the house is under construction. So if you're remodeling or adding smoke hardware smoke detectors or in your in new construction, I want to teach oh, and you're a little confused, I'm going to teach you how to do it. I'm a, I call myself a kid pro because I am somewhat of an electrician. I've been doing this stuff a long time. I've always uh, started with low voltage. Now I'm kind of into high voltage a little bit. It's not too high, but I'm just going to show you how it works. All right, so you're going to need two. You're going to need 14.3 wire and 14.2. Um, you should probably put your smoke detectors if it's if it's but if it's code if, if code allows to use 14 gauge wire in your state i'd say yes here it's okay um but some states don't allow this so just if, if you have to use a 12 2 i'm fine with that it's a little tricky and you don't really need it but because these detectors only use like a little bit of voltage but 12 2 14 2 just make sure you have the right breaker 15 amp you know the rule 15 amp circuit 14 2 wire, uh, 14 gauge wire. Uh, if it's a 20 amp, 12 gauge wire. So, I'm going to show you how this gets this wired up. So, to your first box, to your first smoke alarm, you're going to need a 14 2 wire. So, let's bring wire to that. So, you see that this is, let me see you guys, make sure you guys can see that. Yep, you can see it. Bring a 14 2 wire into the box, knock out one of the knockouts. Make sure you lay out your boxes, folks. Let me show you how you wire it in this video. All right, pull some wire through. I just kind of know it by, you know, because I've been doing this a while, so I kind of know how it works, how much wire. But you need roughly six to eight inches out of your box. You can always trim it if you need, if you don't need too much. About that's good. You don't need crazy much. Uh, I can pull some through. That's good. Now what you're going to want to do is just take a staple. With You need staple within 14 inches of the box. Not 14, 4 inches in this state, uh, New Jersey. But, you know, some it's within 12. But just get close to the box, if you guys can see. And just nail down the... Oh boy, you know what, I'm going to see if I can pull this out. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I just I put it too close. You don't want to put it too close because then the box will be in the way. It's gonna be really difficult. So I just started it, guys. You know, you would finish it, but I want to reuse the staples when I'm done with this, so I can use it for um, another project that I'm gonna show you guys how to do. Like maybe a three-way switch or something like that, single pull. You know what I mean? All right. So I got my 14-2 wire in now. To your next, here, I'm going to show you how many wires the smoke detector has. Hot, neutral, and a red wire for interconnect. I'll, just, I'll show, tell you about interconnect a little later. So you're going to need a 14-3 wire. So, I'm going to get a 14-3 wire. I'm, going to, I'm only going to show you two smoke detectors in this case. But you would just, after you run your 14-2 wire, you would just continue daisy chaining with 14-3 wires down the line. Um... I like to put max amount of smoke detectors, I'd say, is like maybe 9 or 10. I wouldn't exceed that much. After 9 or 10, I wouldn't go more. That's how much I would do. That's just my preference. I mean, I, to be honest, <laughs> I know it's bad, but I don't really know the maximum. But you should just keep it around like 9 or 10 out, out, uh, smokes. 9, 10 is the max, in my opinion. You know, check your codes in your area to see but by code you must have an interconnected smoke alarm system in your house if you're new construction or remodeling so like I said within four inches or whatever it is in your state get, make sure you have a staple
there you go. You guys can see that? Yep. So, back this up so you guys can see. Now, I have my 14-2 wire and my 14-3 wire leaving the box. Alright? So, I have my 14-2 coming in and my 14-3 leaving the box. Now, now that you have, now, pull as much as you need, cut it, and go to your next box. Now, this is, in this case, this is my last smoke detector on the line. So, I'm only going to put two smokes, but if you had, like, maybe three, four, five, six, well, you know, yeah, 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 you would just put, you know, you just keep daisy chaining with 14-3, not 14-2, because your 14-2 is your power. The 14-3 is what's going to um, control all your smokes. It's very important that you use the right wire for your project. 14-2 for your first, 14-3 for the rest. Make sure you don't mess that up, because if you do, oh boy, you won't have <laughs> properly wired smoke alarms. Re bear with me, folks. Alright, guys, I'm back. So, I ran my 14-3 wire to the, my last box, or whatever next box you have. I've stapled it within, within the re requirements. Next to the box, I stapled the wire. Make sure this is more tight. Like I said, I'm leaving some out so I can reuse the staples if I can, but I probably won't be able to because these can be a real pain to get out. I like to use the plastic kinds. They're easier. I like to use the plastic. There's two kinds. You can get this kind or the metal kind. I like to use the plastic because it's easier to control. You're not the staples not flying all over the place with the metal ones. All right. So, like I said, if you had where is it? If you had more smoke detectors down the line, bring in another. 14-3 wire into the box and just daisy chain down with 14-3 wires. All right. So um, I'm only going to show you two for now, but you guys get the point. So now we're going to strip the wires. Make sure you guys can see. I'm going to start off with this one. Just take a razor knife or a utility knife. Some guys like to use electrician's knives. I mean, honestly, you don't need those fancy tools. Just a utility knife makes. The job you go easy, quick, it's all you need. You don't need any electrician's knife. I mean, if you want to, you can, but you don't really need it. Oh, today you're not working with me. All right, cut the sheet. Now you slice through it. Just pull it back, the sheathing. Right, you've got that through, pull it back. Cut it, just like that. Simple, simple, simple. Now, the, to protect the ground wire, they put um, some paper on this. That can just be pulled. If you can't get it, you can just use your razor knife, or utility knife, I should say, and it'll pull right out. See, you got it. It's in the photo. Alright, now you're 14-3. Same thing. Don't cut it all the way. Just get some in the box. Alright, get that through if you can get it. Alright, just like that. Now take your utility knife, cut it off. Alright, just like that. Now, I'm going to show you how to splice now. Oops. Tape. You guys can see that. Now we're going to splice these wires. Um, I'm going to trim these. Well, I guess they're okay. Alright. You know what? Yeah, we're going to trim them just a bit. Just a tad so you guys can see a little better. Alright. Now, strip all the wires. Hot and the neutral and the red. 
actually, the red wire is a low voltage wire, believe it or not. So just strip off to a quarter to a half an inch. You don't need too much. Just gonna do this quick, 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 quick. And I'm gonna do the next one later. All right, now just splice your wires together. So just twist them together with some lines and pliers, which I'll show you how to do. Let's see if I can get this cut. Just a little more sheathing because I need more room. Okay. All right. So just put your grounds with your grounds. That way, it's a little easier for you to work with this. So I'm going to put my grounds together like that, like so. My blacks with my blacks. Well, the red is on its own, but in your neutrals with your neutrals. So, take your linesman's pliers right here. Put your wires together and start to twist them together. You got like that, you can just trim off the piece that's sharper. Now, you would, I, I always said, put your smoke detectors on after the sheetrock has been installed. It's just gonna be a lot easier for you because you don't have to remove it when you put the sheetrock up. So, it's my suggestion, then tuck these wires into the box and then you'll pull them back when you install the smoke detectors. All right, I'm going to do the neutrals, and I'll do the ground off camera, and I'm going to strip this one. That way we can save some time. I'm just going to show you the neutrals again. Put your put the copper together. I'm actually going to strip a little bit more. I need a little bit more. Put your wires together. Twist them. Alright, you got it like that. You can just cut off the end that you didn't get. Alright, got that. Take a wire nut. Cover that up. Put it back in the box and when I'll show you install it after the cheat rock is put up. So guys, I'm gonna pause the video and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the video, do this. Finish doing my splices, and then we'll install smokes. See ya. All right, guys, so I'm back. I put the grounds together, and I, I stripped these wires. So now we can start the installation. So on my first smoke detector, I'm going to be using a kitty. It's semi-broken, so if it goes off for no reason, and I plug, turn on the power, just ignore it. Um, a kitty... Kitta, I should say, PI-210 Ionization Info Electric Smoke Alarm. So, to wire this up, it's just color to color. So, neutral to neutral, or white to white. Put your whites with your whites. Twist that together. Make sure it's on tight. Right, make sure there's no copper exposed. Uh oh, whoopsies. Hold on, we got a problem here, Houston. <laughs> Cut off that a bit. All right, it fell off the wire. All right, take two. All right, put that nut on. Alright, I got my white together. I need the blacks or the hots. And 
find my red. And I'll tell you what the, uh, about the grounds in a minute. Nope, you don't need so much of that wire, so I'm just going to cut it, trim, trim it, put the wire together, put a nut on. Because this is a single wire, I'm going to use a smaller nut to make it a little easier for me. Uh, you can also use, by the way, folks, uh, Wago or ideal wire connectors, you know, I've used, uh, I haven't used them, but I heard they're really easy to use And I'm not against that. All right, just push and fold your wires into the box Now I think I said this before but smoke detectors do not use grounds So for safety just put your bot ground in in the box. They're gonna look for that when they expect your home Just put your ground in the back of the box I need to worry about it but keep it there for safety. Don't cut it. Just keep it there. Twist it together and keep it there. All right. Now, next, what we need to do is install the bracket, like this. This is the bracket. Um, just install the bra The smoke detectors don't come with screws. The hardwired ones. So just supply some. Just put some screws on the boxes so it'll work. Screwdriver. Tighten it down. Right, that's tight. I'm gonna snap the smoke detector onto the base. I'll smack, snap the uh, uh, female connector to the male connector on the smoke alarm. Twist it together. I put tape on it so it's not loud when I demonstrate it. I uh, secure it down. All you gotta do is just twist it on, and this smoke alarm is finished. Off camera to save time, like I said, I'm gonna do the FireX one. Uh, it's missing a bracket, so I'll just have to go, go without it. But I'm going to do the Fire X. We're gonna, I'm going to turn on the breaker. And we will get on with the video. So, I'll see you in a second. Alright guys, so I have turned on the power. And this one has a, doesn't have, uh, has a missing bracket, so that's why it's kind of falling off. But, we're going to go test the alarms. I'm going to go trigger this one. If, this, if our wiring was correct, the Fire X should trip. Three, two, one. All right, so this one tripped, I could hear it. Now I'm gonna do this one. All right, they both tripped each other. So thank you for watching my video and I hope this was helpful in your project. So thanks for watching, bye-bye.